Hey gang, it's your pal Michael, and I'm here to go over this uh, Temple of Mycelium speed drawing with you. Um, so I just got this tablet. It's a graphic tablet by Huion, Huion, um, and it really uh, is like a huge step up from doing just like a normal I had like a normal Wacom tablet for a really long time and I never really realized the disconnect between drawing on one thing and looking at a screen uh, and seeing I mean it, it works and you have pressure sensitivity and it's great but it wasn't until I'd used the graphic tablet that I realized uh, I can really I don't know there's something in my brain that just l allows me to feel like I'm actually drawing so anyway um, I have this tablet and uh, this drawing I did on just paper and I scanned it in and I wanted all of the outlines to be different colors so that's sort of what I'm doing now I didn't I edited this video so you wouldn't have to watch all of my outlining because it can be a little laborious um, but as you can see, I mean, it, I'm pretty much like going over my lines almost exactly. Um, the stuff that I scanned in was a little bit rough um, and I just wanted some clean lines. And again, I wanted them to be um, colored lines. So now that I have all the outlines done, I just have to block in all of my color. Um, I really didn't have any clue as to like a color scheme for this one uh, this drawing itself actually just kind of happened it came together it, it, it was one of those drawings that didn't put up a fight at all it just sort of came together I had no idea what was gonna happen whenever I started drawing and uh, I actually drew over top of an old doodle that I had of this like this stone temple that was also it had a face so that's what like the stone temple is in the background or not the background but what everything's coming out of uh, and so I sort of doodled over top of that um, without any idea of like what I was doing and now you know I'm just sort of blocking in color without really I'm sort of winging it with the with the color scheme for now and you'll see I go through with the hue and saturation uh, a lot and I just like sort of uh, putts with the color uh, quite a lot so um, yeah you could see I'm sort of just going through still blocking colors out um, I should say that this piece um, it, it was for a, um, a zine that I'm doing and I actually put together the zine uh, me and my girlfriend sort of curate and um, design the zine uh, called Mortimer magazine and every one of them has a different theme and the theme for this one was mushrooms and so whenever I started drawing I just started drawing over top of this temple um, all of these like crazy heron you know long neck herons and I started to draw these other vines coming out of them and I initially drew a flower and I thought to myself hey if I, if I change this flower to a mushroom I may have something from for the zine so uh, I changed it to the, a mushroom and the rest is history um, I wanted this piece to be as I you know as I drew it and it started to come together I wanted it to be sort of like a mysterious thing like you're not really sure what's going on like why is this little person here like what brought him here is he here he has a bag um, or a sack and he, is he here to collect mushrooms and there's a little uh, looks like a meditating mushroom idol at the at the top of the steps and it seems like maybe he has to give an offering or you know he has to solve some riddles or um, something but it seems like these herons aren't really too jazzed that he's here so 
Uh, it looks like something's about to go down, but he did bring a staff with him, a mushroom staff with spikes on it. So uh, maybe, maybe he's come prepared with some spells. At the very least, he can just, no, you know, bop him on the head or something. But uh, yeah, at this point in the video, you can see like I got most, I think I got almost all the color blocked in and now I'm just going through with shading and this is my favorite part here once I realize the vines are going to be turquoise or teal because I feel like it, it really sort of brought it together with like the sky um, and the urns and the clouds. Uh, the green, I really loved that green but it, you know, it was a, uh, it was just sticking out like a sore thumb. Um, I think we're wrapping up here. I did have to take this little cloud piece out. I realized it was kind of off a little bit. But uh, yeah, just adding some highlights. I think this is the last part. Um, oh, I love the the highlight on the urns and the and the mushroom idol guy. That's great. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching my video, and I hope you like my Temple of Mycelia. All right, so long, gang.